What's up everybody, welcome back to another video here at Wall Street PR. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over yet another very interesting company, and that company and that stock is called GBT Technologies. Ticker symbol is, as you can see in the top left, GTCH, and this is them over here on the Webull one day time frame. If I zoom out a little bit further, you can see the bigger picture. They are down from their all time high back here at, at about $5 per share, currently trading at 20 cents per share, and they have been kind of consolidating or flatlining as of late. You can see the MACD indicator has been pretty much a straight uh, horizontal line. Uh, for the past few weeks and the past few months and that could be a good sign if you are going to be a prospective investor you could uh, be loading up or getting in at this price because this is uh, something you want to see as an investor in a company is price stability and that's kind of what I think we are seeing with GBT technologies but as always before I break down the chart and give my uh, price predictions and analysis on the company I do want to give an overview and a background of what they actually do so this is over here on GBT technologies page uh, called gbtti.com slash about us because I'm on that about us page. You can see they're a technology company focusing on chip design and software and they're developing a portfolio of intellectual property that is targeted to have significant relevance enabling the rollout of IoT which stands for Internet of Things, Global Mesh Networks, and for applications relating to artificial intelligence and that's kind of the main focus or the main aspect of their business is artificial intelligence or AI and I think that's a huge thing going forward. I think the whole AI industry Industry as a whole will be uh, a fantastic industry going forward. I think the top industries are uh, based in the you know the metaverse, the cryptocurrency field, and with AI. I think that's the future of the internet. And I think that could be uh, potentially the future of business as well. And then next, I want to go over this, which is titled Private Networks. Uh, GBT Technologies platform technology is called Gopher Insight, which uses public RF spectrum to facilitate a private network between enabled devices. Products that use Gopher Site can have network access without using traditional Bluetooth, cell cellular, or satellite connectivity. And this would enable users to have network and internet access without paying traditional carrier monthly fees and would work at ranges exceeding 30 miles from another enabled device. So obviously this whole uh, few paragraphs right here is very exciting. I think this is a very interesting uh, thing that they got going on. I think it will be widely successful if they do continue to work on it and eventually do get it out there. Uh, next, I want to go over this article that was published uh, today, actually, on February 14th of 2022. Titled GBT Technologies, goal is to use its AI technology to overcome long-range radio system challenges. I'm going to scroll down here a little bit further. I'm going to talk about this real quick. You can see the, glo uh, the global AI market is on track to hit more than $554 billion in total revenue by 2024. AI automation and robotics are disrupting virtually every major industry. And that's what I kind of said at the start of this video, guys. I do think this is going to be a huge industry going forward. $554 billion industry uh, in revenue by 2024 is absolutely insane. Just imagine the revenue going forward for these companies on the next five, the next 10 years, not just two years from now, by 2024. I think the whole industry is going to see some huge accelerated rapid growth. Next, I want to go down here. You can see um, once commercialized, it's GBST's goal to have a suite of products, including smart microchips, AI, encryption, blockchain, IC design, mobile security applications, database management protocols with tracking and supporting cloud software without the need for GPS. GBT does envision the system as a creation of a global mesh network using advanced nodes and super performing new generation IC technologies. The core of the system will be in its advanced microchip technology, technology that can be installed in any mobile or fixed device worldwide. And GBT's vision is to produce this system as a low cost, secure private mesh network between any and all enabled devices thus providing shared processing, advanced mobile database management, and sharing while using these enhanced mobile features as an alternative to traditional carrier services. So obviously, guys, they do have a lot going for them. If we take a look back over here, kind of retrace back to this chart. If I, I do kind of want to highlight this really quickly. This movement that you saw back here in kind of early 2021, late 2020, was partly due to the fact that they did have some good news, and they also did kind of ha have higher short interest at the moment. Basically, around this time period, I'm sure some of you guys remember, excuse me, any of the uh, highly shorted stocks, AMC, uh, GameStop, Nokia, KOSS, all those stocks that had high short interest did see jumps like this and moves like this. So this was partly due to the fact that they did have really high short interest, and those shorts kind of did get squeezed out when they pushed all the way up to that all-time high of $5 per share. But since then, they have pulled back and actually retraced all the way down to a low, as you can see 
uh, back on 1027 of 2021 of 9 cents per share. They bounced off that nicely, retraced back up, and like I mentioned at the start of this video, they are, they are kind of flatlining and consolidating in this range. If you look as of late, if I zoom in a little bit further, you can see they're starting to curl back upwards slightly. This MACD is looking a little bit more promising, and this RSI indicator is sitting relatively neutral. I do think they have the potential to maybe dip back down to about 17 cents per share, the strong support line that they've held in the past, hit that level, bounce back up and shoot up, hopefully have a strong reversal. Personally, guys, I would see a move like this first down to about 17 cents per share. I do think that will happen, if I'm being completely honest. And then next, I do think after they hit that 17 cents per share, they could retrace back up and over time, kind of a more gradual move. It's not going to look exactly like this. I do expect them to go back up to about 42, uh, 42 cents per share is my longer term price target for GTCH. That is going to take some time. Don't think it's going to take a week, two weeks, or a month. It could honestly take a year, maybe even more than a year, but I do think 42, 50 cents per share is my longer term price target for GTCH, but you will have to be patient. You will have to kind of hold through the dips, hold through the ups and downs and the chaotic movement that could potentially have when you're dealing with a stock with a price of this that is this low. With that said, guys, do your own research before investing. Only invest what you can afford to lose. And if you're new here, please do subscribe to my channel. With that said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.